worst storm ever. My guy's out there, risking his life. That's the game. I hate that game! This was a really massive undertaking. My role was to head up the techniques we're going to use to do the effects to create, create the ocean. There was people that were wondering if it could be done at all. I knew it was easy to get around in my own. The most powerful thing in the package is the fact that you have dynamics, modeling, animation, you know, particles, rigid bodies, all these things integrated so that you can have them work together. You can have them affect each other. And that's not something you can do uh, if it's all separate in different packages. One of the first things we did for the animatic and animation was to figure out how the boats move on these oceans. You know, what would it be like if you were actually out in 50 foot seas with a camera trying to film another boat? We wanted to kind of mimic that situation. So what we did was we brought in um, our ocean as a plugin into Maya, and then using the Maya rigid bodies and, and uh, expressions and plugins, we were able to replicate what uh, boats actually do in reaction to the ocean. We found out early on using these animatics that it's, it's very likely people can get seasick in this, in this project. So that was a good thing to preview these things. And so early on we knew we, can't, we, we don't want to make the entire movie like this or they would have to hand out two buckets to everybody, popcorn and an extra one, you know. <laughs> we had good support and help from uh, Alias Wave on themselves to help us if we got stuck. Um, and I think that kind of closer relationship is going to really help in the future as well. As a technical director at, uh, at ILM in the commercial department, mainly I do a lot of uh, compositing, a lot of rendering, a lot of uh, particle dynamics. In Maya you can crank out a lot of different elements uh, using one package. So even if it might not be the final element, even if it's only for the animatic stage, you can use Maya to render out quick animatics. You can use Maya's hardware renderer to render out uh, rough particle simulations. So you can do a lot of uh, initial imagery outside of Maya, regardless of what the final output will be. To an engineer, it's the freedom to question everything. We've been using particles more and more uh, with every commercial that we, that we do here at uh, ILM. And uh, one of my personal favorite was the Gatorade Raptor uh, campaign. And the big challenge in that was to create a sweat coming off of a Velociraptor. In the commercial, you had uh, Vince Carter, who plays in the NBA for the Toronto Raptors, playing basketball against a Velociraptor. And to make the Velociraptor fit into the scene, he had to have the same level of moisture and detail that uh, Vince Carter had. So we used uh, Maya uh, with several different uh, tests, a little bit of scripting, but a lot of it was straight out of the box uh, to make the sweat drip off the raptor, to make it fly off the raptor, and to really make the raptor fit in. Mel scripting is actually an element of Maya that, uh, that I really enjoy, only because it allows me to, to let the software work for me. Daddy. Hi, sweetie. Get me. Not a chance. In the ADT spot, we actually use Mel scripting to come up with a particular UI uh, to achieve the effect that we needed. Sleep tight. Get the power of ADT. In this commercial, we wanted to have a series of numbers enveloping a building. And by creating a simple UI, we were able to create rows and rows of uh, simple particles that were uh, using simple collision objects and uh, adjusting the friction rates that we could really get those particles to stick to the building. With every version of the software, something seems to get um, improved. And it's really interesting for me when a new version comes out, as soon as I get it on my computer, I want to just get going and seeing what's new and what's changed and what's better. 